ALS. Using AI, doctors have found a way to give people who lost their voice to ALS the ability to speak again. This new technology is actually translating brain activity into speech. Not being able to communicate is so frustrating and demoralizing. It is like you are trapped. For people with ALS who are losing the ability to move and the ability uh, to speak, one of the most devastating aspects of this disease is the loss of communication. In a breakthrough clinical trial called BrainGate 2, a research team directed by Dr. Lee Hochberg at Massachusetts General Hospital set out to give participants like Casey a voice again. Part of what we all want to achieve is to, is to restore that communication. Having something like this will give them hope and opportunity to be more of themselves. The team surgically implanted this tiny device, smaller than an M&M, directly onto his brain. We placed four of them on the top of the brain, in a, part in, a, in a part of the brain that's really important for the control of speech. That means that we were able to take the brain activity as he was speaking and turn that brain activity into words on a computer screen. In mere moments, a computer decoded Casey's thoughts first into words, then sentences, and meaningful phrases. And it didn't end there. Researchers took it a step further. We had used a, a, an AI uh, approach to uh, taking his pre-ALS voice. The easiest way to protect ourselves from mercury pollution. And allowing that voice to uh, be the one that uh, was, uh, was heard through the computer. OK, ready? Uh, um, uh, seeing his and his family's emotional reaction to uh, uh, to, to that working. Right out of the gate was, was really uh, an important moment for all of us. In fact, for the research team that was there, everybody had to pause after, uh, after seeing it work uh, right at the beginning and uh, kind of uh, gather themselves again for a moment to, to continue the rest of the day. Doctors anticipate that the breakthrough could not only bring back someone's ability to speak, but the chance to one day walk again. I meet people who yesterday were able to, to walk and speak without any difficulty and suddenly have lost the ability to move or have lost the ability to speak. As a physician, I want nothing more than to be able to say to that person, I'm sorry that this happened, but we have a technology and tomorrow you're gonna be able to move again, you're gonna be able to speak again. For Casey, it's restoring hope that was stolen from him by a disease. I hope that we are at a time when everyone who is like me have the same opportunity as I do to have a device like this that will help them communicate. Just absolutely mind-boggling. And Dr. Hochberg says that there are currently enrolling new participants in the BrainGate clinical trials. Right now, there are five people in the trial. I mean, just what that does for his quality of life, for his connection to his family and everyone around him, I can't think of a better use of AI. And it probably feels so much more personal when it's your own voice, right? right. It probably feels so great.